display of their feathers as part of their courtship rituals. But is this the only kind of courtship display in the world of birds? Okay, we're getting close now, so we have to be quiet. So you might think that humans are the only species that perform elaborate dances, but that's not the case. Long before we ever even existed, other species started using some pretty fancy footwork to impress the opposite sex. And one bird in particular that we're about to discover redefines the term footloose. So I'm here in a wildlife viewing blind in northern Wisconsin with wildlife biologist Jim Hayfly. And these birds are in their spring dancing grounds. We're about to witness some pretty unusual behavior. So Jim, tell me a little bit about what these birds are doing. Well, sharp-tailed grouse come to these communal mating areas. Um, they do a little dance to attract the females. It's all these prairie grouse do the same thing. Prairie chicken, sage grouse. They all come to these leks. All the males do anyhow. They have their own little territory out there and they're just trying to attract these females. So is this courtship behavior? Is it instinctive or is it learned? It's kind of a combination of both, but it's mostly instinctive. Um, just something they're born with. I think if you took, like, harvested an egg and hatched it out and raised a bird, they would still do this every spring even though they haven't been around other birds. They may not do it real well, but they do some kind of display. So why do birds have showier courtship displays than, say, other kinds of animals? Well, it's probably mostly due because mammals and even insects have a lot, a lot better sense of smell. Birds can't don't have a very good sense of smell. They rely more on sight than sound. That's why they're better in their feet. And, and the showy colors and all the behavior. So the, the males are out there wearing themselves out and all the hens are just kind of hanging out. I mean, what are they doing? <laughs> That's well, it's the male's job to display. It's the same in every bird, pretty much. The females really don't do much. It's the, you know, the males that do all the courtship. That's why the males are the colorful ones. And, you know, she knows who the best one is out there. Maybe it dances a little bit more, better, longer. I mean, maybe it's a stronger bird. It, you know, probably is. It's dominant for a reason. And they'll sense that. And, you know, maybe she doesn't seem interested now, but she'll be back. How does the courting ritual affect the outcome of the species? Well, you know, this thing has been going on forever. I mean, and it all goes back to that basic rule of nature, you know, survival of the fittest. They're not only competing with other birds of their species, they're competing with other species too. So, you know, you want your best genes perpetuated. You want to pass on those good traits. And that's what this is all about. I mean, you, you lose a, some genetic material that's, that, that you need to survive and you're gonna get taken over by another species, you know? I mean, it happens all the time. It's happening now, it's happened in the past. It always will happen the strongest survive. Oh, look at that one right in front of the blind. He really thinks he's had stuff. Oh, they all do. And, and maybe that one is the hot one. He could be the dominant male, but again, we all think we're the hottest thing out there. <laughs> So we've discovered that humans aren't the only species with some pretty crazy dance moves, and that this seemingly bizarre dancing actually affects the female mate choice and ultimately impacts the future of the species. 
So you might be surprised to learn that many species use dancing as part of their courtship behavior. But discover it on your own. Write a description in your journal of dances performed by species of reptiles, insects, birds, and even mammals. Hey, you might even learn some cool new moves for yourself. And that's another reason to never stop exploring your world.